Hey, welcome to uh, our latest Halcyon 2 uh, model that we'd like to give you a tour of here today. This house is heading out to LA. It's getting craned into a backyard, in fact, over another building. So what's really cool about this is LA has uh, put a bunch of rules in place that allow tiny homes on wheels to legally be placed in backyards as, I guess, secondary residences. So this will be a medium term, I believe, rental. Um, so yeah, really cool source of revenue and uh, a, a place for people to stay out there. This client has made a lot of selections in here that are really cool and I'm really excited to show it to you all. So let's take a look around. So I'm sitting at the workstation kind of eating bar here and uh, behind me you're gonna see a few things. So first of all, we have a custom couch that was made from retro by Retro Modern. And so it's, it's really beautiful, custom made to fit. It's a really beautiful, comfortable couch, really stylish as well. Um, and you'll notice the whole front of this building is glass. So this is, uh, the client chose this. So the standard option comes with a four by six window, which is a similar size to this one here, but we've chosen the upgrade option to blow the whole nose out in glass, which is beautiful. We've actually done the same thing in the tail um, in the flex room as well. The concrete countertops, which are standard in all of our models, she's chosen a lighter color of concrete, which is really beautiful, really uh, lightens up the mood in here. And that's really important because she's also chosen um, rift cut oak cabinetry. So often we're using white cabinetry, which is really beautiful, light and airy, but this oak, it brings just kind of a, a modern warmness to this building. And yeah, really uh, ties in well with all the rest of the oak movie throughout the building. Yeah, so the client shows all black appliances, which looks really rich and classy. Um, and with the white oak cabinetry, obviously our integrated fridge is white oak as well. So we're really proud of this fridge. It's really beautiful the way we've integrated everything, fridge, freezer, storage, and even a, a pantry built in as well. Um, and then, because everybody always wonders, yeah, we do have a sliding door uh, for the bathroom on this side and a swinging door from the other side. Now, another thing we've added in here, there's a dishwasher in this kitchen, which is really neat, but going up the stairs, we've added LED strip lighting to all the risers as just a way to accentuate the stairs heading up to the loft. Why don't we go up there? At the top of our stairs, all of our lofts that we do, we always do standing lofts. So we don't want to crawl around. I mean, it's a fun part of tiny homes. We prefer to be a little more civilized so we can stand. Um, the nice thing about this is it shrinks the size of our stairs. We have less room, less square footage dedicated to stairs and more to the ability to stand up, um, to get dressed. We have a, a wardrobe up here with lots of storage, hanging rod and full drawers. And yeah, it's just very civilized. We have headroom in bed as well as headroom beside the bed. The way this home has been staged with the plant, the plant ledge, as we like to call it, actually covered in plants, it really closes in and offers some privacy up here while still allowing like really beautiful views down into the full glass windows. And of course, we always have windows on either side of the bed for cross breezes and just the idea of not being claustrophobic up in the loft, just giving us a lot of um, outside views coming in. The integrated headboard we have up here obviously looks good, gives an opportunity to put away some books or some decorations, but we also have plugs USB ports, LED lighting, and we have kind of our, we call it our bedside little drawers here built in as well. So a little bit of function as well as style up there. We have a really fully functioning kind of spa-like bathroom in here. So we have our vanity. This is a custom concrete sink. Um, we always do this sink in this model and what it does, it's a wedge-shaped sink. It looks really cool, but it also takes the plumbing out from under the sink and places it inside this plumbing wall. And what that allows is that now we have full storage drawers underneath there without any P-traps or plumbing in the way, which you have in a standard sink. We have a really deep medicine cabinet, well, 12 inches deep, so lots of storage there, not just for your pills and your toothbrush, but for towels and everything else. Um, down this wall we have, in here we have a washer dryer combo and storage beneath that, so that's your laundry. Behind this panel we have our combination boilers. This is an IBC combination boiler, so this is doing our on-demand hot water, as well as our hydronic in-floor heating. So that is a, that's a workhorse right there. Very efficient, very reliable. This client has chosen flush toilets. So we have a wall hung flush toilet. We also have an option for um, composting toilets and some incinerating and stuff like that. This is one of the two ERV units in this home. So this is a ventilating unit. It's a low voltage fan that is constantly recirculating the air in the home. It's controlling the breathing of the home. And it's really important for, for healthy, uh, a healthy home managing humidity, managing air quality. Now, this client has chosen the shower option rather than the tub. It's beautiful, it's a custom concrete shower and it has been designed to mimic the wedge-shaped sink, but they've also added a full-size window in here. 
I showed you the door in the kitchen and here is the door in the uh, on the other side of the bathroom which goes into the flex room. It's mirrored on both sides. Mirrors are almost as good as windows if they're shining at a window. So we allow that space, that outside bringing it into the home. Yeah, so in the flex room back here, this client has chosen to turn this into uh, a suite, like a, a bed, a sleeping suite. So we have a queen size bed with integrated storage underneath. So we're able to lift the mat, the bed up with hydraulic lifts and there's storage underneath. Beautiful integrated headboard, which is a variation of the headboard upstairs, but it has much more uh, storage and shelving. Um, again, a mirrored door, which allows while you're laying in bed, it reflects the giant window that's uh, on the side of the bed right here. And so, yeah, when you lay in this bed, you're really just surrounded by glass. It's really beautiful. Um, lots of storage built in as well. We have a large wardrobe with hanging rod and drawers. So a lot of storage back here. And now the cool thing about this flex room is that it can be turned into a bunch of different things. We have clients who do home offices here. We have a client who's going to be putting a sauna back here. We actually have what we're calling the library, which is coming up, which is going to be a, a floor to ceiling bookshelf with integrated desks and lighting. So it's a really flexible space and it's really beautiful when it's set up as a sleeping area. So yeah, if you guys are used to seeing our buildings, you might see that this one looks a little bit different on the exterior. And there's a reason for that. Going where this is in the backyard in LA, they have some strange rules. And one of those is that we are not allowed to use interlocking metal siding. So nobody there seems to know why that rule exists, but exists it does. So to get around that, we've gone away from our typical metal siding. We've gone to a product called Nutex. So it's a composite and it's meant to look like Shishugi band, so burnt wood. It's uh, really beautiful, really modern. And so we've done this entire building in one tone rather than uh, breaking it up into thirds like we would typically do with a wood and a color. Um, and yeah, it looks really beautiful. It's a nice siding, it's maintenance free, and it gets this building where it needs to land in LA with all the legalities there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this tour. Uh, we're proud of it and we're happy to show it to you. Thanks guys.